Ayo hey duckies, Andy here. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a video like this where I kind of teach you some OBS stuff, but don't worry, they are coming back. And it's because I've been pretty busy making a bunch of different dev things. So I've been making loads of widgets for my supporters. So if you want to kind of take your stream to the next level, come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy and you can find out everything that I'm up to. I've been making some really cool things, but I made you guys a free thing, and that's what I'm here today to show you. So let's just get into it. This is the Stream Up Chapter Marker Manager. You can get it straight from the OBS forums, as you can see just here, created by yours truly. Uh, it is your all-in-one chapter marker system. So if you guys are wanting to get all clipped together, ready for YouTube and publishing on TikTok and all that jazz, this is the perfect thing for you because you don't need to add markers into your stream and stuff like that. You can just record at the same time as long as you're using the same encoding settings it barely uses any extra resources but you get the full quality video with all of this extra data that's going to help you organize your content and make sure you're making the best content possible and the quickest possible because we don't really want to be messing around wasting time do we so downloading and installing it is like any other plugin. I've got a ton of videos on installing plugins, so I'll leave one of them down in the description that you guys can check out. And as you can see, it's very feature rich. There are so many things that I've added into this and I've been listening to feedback and already pushed out an update uh, to do a couple of fixes and adjust a few things as well. So let's take a look at the plugin. Obviously, you download it just from here. It's Linux, Mac, and Windows. Um, so yeah, enjoy. I've not tested Linux and Mac, so please let me know if you guys are using that platform and let me know any feedback in the description now, in the in the comments. Oh my God, it's been that long since I've done a video. So the plugin itself is super easy to use once it's installed. I am using OBS 30.2 beta because there's a feature that I've added into this plugin that is only available in the beta, so I wanted to show it off. So I'm using a beta version, but this plugin will work for any OBS over OBS 28. Uh, so we just go to docs at the top and you'll see we've got the stream up chapter marker manager. And you can just click that and it'll add the doc to your docs. Obviously, it's just a normal doc. You can go and stick it anywhere you want. It's absolutely fine to do whatever you want with it. I'll leave it hovering for now. Uh, so this is the basic doc. If we go to settings, yours might look a little bit different because I've already got some settings on mine. But if we go into settings just here, just a little bit of advice. Everything has got a tool tip. So if you're not sure what something is, if you just hover over it, I've written all the instructions because I'm a cool guy like that. Um, so we jump into settings and you can see there are a bunch of different things. We've got the default chapter name. This is if you basically trigger a chapter marker without putting a name in specifically, whether you've done it by a hotkey or something like that, it'll automatically use that name and just number it afterwards. So it'd be like test chapter name one, test chapter name two, and so on. Uh, we've got show previous chapters. If I turn that one off and press OK, it gets rid of this box. But that is not just previous chapters. That actually allows you to select previous chapter names and reuse them. It's really handy. So I'm going to leave that on to show it you. We've also got the chapter trigger source. And this is because there's so many different ways that you could trigger a chapter marker in your content. You can do it by pressing the actual save chapter marker button, or you could use a hotkey which means that you can set it up to a Stream Deck and potentially we're working on a Stream Deck plugin as well. I might be doing a Stream Deck plugin. Watch this space, stay subscribed because I'll do a video on that as well. Uh, and you can obviously use WebSocket. So this means you could use something like Streamerbot to automate chapter markers in your content. Again, get subscribed because I'll be going through that at a later date as well. And I might have something handy for my supporters as well out there. Um, we can set preset chapter hotkeys. So if I select this, this will bring up a bunch of different chapter markers that I've created with this plugin that I can remove like so, and I can add new ones. Uh, this is another test chapter like that. And I just press add and that adds a custom hotkey into your OBS hotkey settings. So if I press OK, I'm just save them both out and we'll jump down to settings, go to hotkeys, and scrolling down here, you'll have two hotkeys. You'll have the add default chapter marker, and I've put in brackets stream up just so you don't get it confused. And you can set that, and that just adds that default chapter name. And then further down, we should see wherever it is. There's a lot of hotkeys here. This is another test chapter. So we can put another hotkey just for that. This is a test chapter. 
So I'm going to set up a hotkey as numpad one, and I'll do the default one as numpad two, just because then I can show you on the output what this actually looks like. So we'll add them, apply, and press OK. And that's saved them hotkeys now. If I try and press one, it'll just tell me that recording is not active. Um, so we will press the setting sign again, and we've got a bunch of different export. So this is the feature here, insert chapter markers into video file. This is what was added into OBS 30.2. If you're using the format hybrid MP4, which is a new one, uh, Epos Vox has done a video on the OBS beta and it's pretty on point, so go check that out. Uh, this will actually save the chapter markers into the MP4. So when you put it into your editing software, it will automatically have all of the markers in there. Uh, we also have the ability to save them to a file as well. So you can export it to a text file and an XML file uh, or just one or none. It's up to you. And I've also done automatic chapter settings, which the only thing that I've got on there at the moment is on scene change. So anytime you change scene in OBS, it will automatically add a chapter marker and you can set the ignored scenes. So if I add, um, I'll go scene two. Uh, and the minimum prediction scene as well. That's what I've been working on at the moment. Press OK. It's going to ignore those two scenes. So it will not add a chapter marker for those scenes. And obviously, if you guys love the plugin and you want to help support me keep making all this content, then please consider hitting support plugin. And yeah, you guys know. Leave a little tip, right? Uh, the more tips I get, the more I can keep doing free stuff. Uh, so I'm going to press OK and we're all set up. So we will now start recording because we don't have a recording active. So I'm going to press start recording and you'll see the current chapter is start and it's been triggered by recording. Uh, and that's just automatic because we've got the show trigger um, methods and it'll basically just say what it was triggered by. I'm going to press the uh, default hotkey, which was on two. It adds test chapter name one via hotkey. Again, if I press it again, it counts up to chapter two which is really cool. Uh, if I press the other one, the um, the the preset hotkey name, this is another test chapter as a preset hotkey. So you can basically add all these and these are getting added now into my video because I'm on OBS 30.2 and they're getting saved to a text and an XML file. I can click on these now. So say if I want this test chapter name one, it will fill it there automatically, as you can see. So I can reuse these, but if I double click it, it will automatically use that chapter and it will actually say, right, you've used this hotkey, but you've triggered it again manually. Just, I just thought that that would make more sense rather than say hotkey twice kind of thing. Uh, and then I have added another section. Uh, if I say, in fact, let me just jump back and we'll press save chapter marker. See how it's empty. There's no chapter name. It goes to the default name. Uh, this is a custom chapter. I press save, it'll add that custom chapter. I mean, that was pretty self-explanatory, but it's better to check, isn't it? Uh, I've added the annotation doc, which you can access from the docs menu at the top, just here, or you can just select this and you get a secondary doc. Again, you can dock all these wherever you want inside of OBS and you can just dock them together if you want to. Remember that you can have tabs of docs, which is really nice. Um, for this example, I'm just gonna leave them out so you can see, and the annotation box is just literally a text box, which this is some um, more information about what happened in this chapter. And press save and that will get saved. So rather than me writing an actual chapter marker in there, it's left a note for me. So I've got some more information on what's happened within that chapter. And we can obviously add some more chapter markers on top of that when we're done. And then we want to finish the recording. So I'm going to press stop recording. It'll tell us that recording's finished. Recording is not active. And we can go to our video file, which I need to remember which is which. I'm guessing it's the MP4. If I right click on this MP4 and I'll just open it with VLC so you can see the chapter markers. You have to see just here. We've got all the different chapter markers that we made. And that will be ported into your editing software. And that's only for OBS 30.2, which again is in beta right now. We've got a text file, which has all of the chapter markers in, including the annotations. So this isn't actually classed as a chapter marker. So it doesn't get added into the chapter markers in the video and everything like that. It's just some extra information for you without actually having to use a chapter marker. As you can see, they're all there. 
and then an XML file, which most video software, um, editing software allows you to import an XML. It's got all of the timestamps, all of the information that you could possibly need. You've got your annotation, you've got your chapters. I'm not 100% sure if this format is perfect for all uh, video editors, so please let me know in the comments or send, send me a message on the uh, OBS forum post. Speaking of the OBS forum post, please consider leaving me a review. Uh, you know, five stars, give me that five stars. R rate, rate a boyfriend or whatever you want to call it nowadays, do that. Uh, rate an OBS dad, dad, daddy, some, yeah, just do it. Um, I appreciate it. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell. But I added another feature because I love stuff like Streamerbot uh, and all the other bots out there, like use Sammy for a bit, you've got Atom and all that. I've added in custom WebSocket. All of the information about the custom WebSocket is on the documentation that I've written. It's very in depth. So if you guys are struggling to follow the video, all the information's there and there's a link to it on the OBS forum page for the full guide. So consider taking a look at this. I've put all the WebSocket information in there. So if you guys are big on your bots and you use WebSocket commands, I've put all of the request types and everything like that so you guys can copy this um, data. You'll probably know what you're doing with it. If not, stay tuned, stay subscribed because I'll be doing all, I'll be covering it all in a future video because this video will be stupidly long. Um, but you'll be able to set chapter markers, get the chapter marker that you're on currently and set annotations. The, the beauty of this means that you'll be able to let your moderators do your chapter markers and annotations. So if something cool happens or something that they want to use for editing as well, they can add in their own messages without disturbing stream. Uh, by they could do it by a, a, a WebSocket command themselves, or they could just do it as a whisper to you. There's a lot of fun things that you can do. And then when it comes to them editing later, they've got some notes of things that they noticed or wanted to pick out. Honestly, this is huge. And I hope you guys really like it. If you do have feedback on it, please let me know. And please consider uh, leaving a tip because it's I've spent a long time on this and obviously just giving it out for free. It's, yeah, it's quite draining, especially when I've got a little one running about. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm going to do an update video of why I've just disappeared uh, very soon. So stay subscribed for that as well. Uh, like I say, if you need anything, please let me know. Come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy because I stream all the time doing lots of help for you guys. And I create a lot of these plugins and stuff like that live. Please consider joining Patreon and all that jazz. Put your rock on the stone and I'll see you soon.